Hey guys, it's the Slow Cloth here, and today in some of this Monster Legends Leaks video, I have a ton of new corrupted mythics to show you guys, and I have some brand new events, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first new corrupted mythic we have is this one right here. We actually don't have its name yet, but we have its design, and it looks pretty cool, and it does look like it will be inside of a marathon. So hopefully you guys will find a good enough team to get this monster. We have no idea when it's coming out, though, so it could not come out for like a few seasons, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. And then we have this one, which honestly reminds me a lot of Thunder Kong. It looks like almost the same to me, except for without the wings in a different color palette. And it shows a maze in the background, so I'm assuming it's going to be in a maze, but we honestly don't know yet since it shows a maze in a lot of the monsters' backgrounds, and they're not always in mazes. And then we also have this one, which is like a corrupted version of the, I think it's a legendary named Wicca. And it might be a mythic, but I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, this is the corrupted version of that monster, and it's basically just that monster with like a lump on its head, which is kind of weird, but yeah, I like it, I guess. Then we actually have the name of that first corrupted mythic we looked at, Magic, and of course it will be inside of a race. It looks pretty cool in this picture, and I do like its design. It's a little weird that it's named Magic. It's kind of like that monster named Light. Are they just going to do that for all of the elements? I guess we'll have to wait and see. And then we have Thunder and Nature. Oh my gosh, they are. So... We have Thunder here, which is the name of this monster, and Nature, which is the name of this monster. So yeah, apparently they're just running out of names, so they're just naming all of the monsters after their elements. And then we also have a Wormhole right here, which we have already seen like a million other times. But we have its baby form, and its egg, and its adult form. And then we also have Moja Drac right here, which we have seen before. And we have Kurai Kaij, which I probably said that name wrong, but we have seen him before. And he is going to be in a marathon, apparently. So yeah, hopefully you guys are able to get this monster. And then we have the actual amounts for Spectra, which are interesting. So it goes around 10,000 at 0%, around 9,000 at 10%, around 8,000 at 20%, and around 7,000 at 30%. Which, I actually think that this is less than before. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. So yeah, looks like they made it less, and hopefully you guys are able to get it. Because it is really good, so you guys should definitely be trying to get Spectra. And then we have Thunder and Nature right here again. Isn't that the same picture? I think that might be the same picture. Yeah, it is. I don't know why they put it twice. And then we have the first monsters called Clember and Wicca looking one. Oh, so those aren't actually their names. Their names are down here. So yeah, they just have Thunder and Nature as like placeholders. Hopefully. Hopefully that's true. And then we have Flamiria's Essence. When the wearer dies, revives wearer with X points of life and gives points of stamina to all allies. So that is a better Uriel's Essence, basically. And it seems really good. So hopefully you guys are able to get that one. It is probably going to be an Obsidian Relic, by the way. So yeah, definitely try to get that one. And then we have the St. Patrick's Chest for St. Patrick's Day. It looks like you can get an exclusive Diamond Relic. You can get some Cosmics and Original Monsters. And you can get Stardust. And that's about it, I think. So yeah, overall, it seemed decent. I don't think they're worth money, though. They do usually cost money, so I don't think it's worth it. And then we have the Dew Challenge right here. You can gather items and get the Dew, which is a old Gold Legends Pass monster. He's really good, so yeah, you guys should definitely try to get him. And then the Hacksmith Challenge, which is an old Gold Legends Pass monster. He's not that good. And same with Undead Mr. Beast, he's not that good. And the El Colossal Season 2 Mythics. So you'll be able to make every single Season 2 Mythic from the original era and from the Cosmic Era. So definitely try to do this to get as many Season 2 Mythics as you can. And then we also have El Quilaria's Staff down here. When turn starts, if any allies stamina is below 50%, gives X points of stamina to targets. Two uses. And when revived, it increases all allies' power by Y points. So it looks like this would be a good combo with the essence up there that revives. And then we have Recha's armor. At the start of the battle gives an armor with X points to wear. One use when turn starts heal is wear by Y points three uses. That's pretty good. I like that. And then we have the darker breeding event where you will actually be able to breed morgues and you'll get 10 darker cells if you end up getting morgues. And if you don't, you'll get five darker cells. So yeah, that is going to be it for this week's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.